What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another video, this time it's going to be the Manchester City versus Huddersfield match preview, Manchester City's first home game since becoming the Centurions, the champions. So, we're going to be previewing everything there is to talk about for Man City and for Huddersfield and we're going to be looking at how the game goes, our first home game of the season. First up, just wanted to say if you could quickly subscribe to my channel, put your notifications on, that would mean everything to me, support my channel, help my channel grow. And also, this video is sponsored, so I just wanted to say a big thank you to 888 Sports, if you could go and download their app, which I've got on my phone at this moment in time, just there. But if you could go and uh, download that, that's in the description below if you want to go and check that one out. 888 Sport, that's a betting company by the way, they're doing a bet £10, get £30 free bet. Which is a very good deal in my opinion. It's for mobile devices only, so make sure that you download it on your mobile, not on your laptop or anything else like that, your desktop computer. It's a lot of fun to bet on football. I do it every weekend. Herb, you can get a lot of fun from it. You've got both teams to score, both teams to score in both halves. Keep them accumulators low. Put your bets on accumulators too. Uh, but yeah, lots of easy ways to make money really. Put, deposit £10, put your £10 on, click it through. I'll be showing you on the screen, by the way, what to do. Uh, but go and check that out. Link to that, that's in the description below. If you want to go and bet on that, you can go and bet on other sports too if you wish not just football but with the premier league starting it makes sense to that and as we crack on through this video i'm going to give you a couple of tips as well uh, with regards to manchester city and huddersfield also on an added note just wanted to say that if you could go and check out yusuf armadi these links in the description below along with his instagram he's going to be running a competition along with 888 sport if you want to go and check them out check out the links they're in the description below there's an easy chance for you to go and make a lot of money there we're going to crack on with the video. So we're going to start off first with some team news. And as you all know, Kevin De Bruyne is out injured. That's very sad news indeed. Two months, three months, he's gone to Barcelona. He's been gone and hit up by Dr. Cougar. <laughs> there we go. Uh, he might be back next week. You never know with him. But we're expecting Kevin De Bruyne to be out for around three months. Um, so it's a big blow for Manchester City. Uh, so we'll talk in October probably after the international break, so two, two and a half months. It's a big blow for Manchester City, that one. So it's a big chance here for Phil Foden, uh, Ilkay Gundogan and other players to come in slotting. We might be seeing a David Silva, Bernardo Silva central midfield duo. So there's a lot of things to be excited for. There's a lot of cover, but don't get me wrong, this is a massive blow for Manchester City and Huddersfield and all the other sides that are going to be facing Manchester City without Kevin De Bruyne are going to take a lot of positives from Kevin De Bruyne not being there because he is a world-class central midfielder. So it's a big blow for Man City not to have him. He's picked up an injury in training, he's twisted his knee. Luckily, it's not a knee ligament damage, so it could have been six to nine months, so it could have been worse, but we're still without De Bruyne, so we'll have to make do with that. Makes our transfer dealings not signing central midfield, they're just that little bit more frustrating in my opinion, but we make do with what we've got and I'm looking forward to seeing a lot more of Phil Foden. So I'm going to talk you through my Manchester City team prediction, so obviously I'm going to pop that up now for you. So I've gone for Edison in goal, pretty self-explanatory, I've gone for Kyle Walker and Fabian Delph as our win-back just purely because Benjamin Mendy uh, had a good game, didn't have a good game in the last game. I'm expecting Huddersfield to be very defensive, so we're going to need a little bit more skilled players that uh, are probably going to stick to the positions, try and work balls into space. Benjamin Mendy is more of a workhorse. He bombs forward, cuts in, goes to the centre, likes to get forward. Um, it leaves a lot of space there. Fabian Delph, in my terms, is a in, in terms of skill, finding space, working the ball to midfield would probably suit this game a little bit better. If, if I was manager, I'd go for Fabian Delft, but I'm not manager. I've gone for Stones and Laporte. I reckon we might see a change. I've gone for Stones and Laporte because they've been solid. I just think we might see a change. I think we might see uh, Otto Mendy in this game, but I, I'm hoping that we'll see Stones and Laporte because they've been fantastic for Manchester City. I've got Fernandinho, Gundogan in the midfield, along with Bernardo Silva, uh, because David Silva, I'm not expected to be back for this game. He probably will be back for the game next week. I think we've got Wolves, is it Wolves? Yeah, Wolves away, so I'm expecting David Silva might be well be back for that one. Probably a bit too soon for him to come back here, so I've gone for Bernardo in the centre. Won't surprise to see Phil Foden even slot in there and maybe move Bernardo out wide, but I've gone for Raheem Sterling uh, and Riyad Mahrez going out on the wings. Raheem Sterling on the left, Riyad Mahrez on the right, and then switching them over as the game goes on. And I've gone for Kun Aguero up front. So let me know your team prediction in the comments below, please. Uh, score prediction. I'm going to go for 1-0 Manchester City. It sounds very negative, that doesn't it? It's not negative. I've seen Huddersfield fans. They know exactly what they want their side to do. Huddersfield have picked up a positive result in the last four home league games against Manchester City they're going to be parking the bus are going to be extra defensive you remember the game last season even though Man City were already champions and was lifting the trophy on that day that was facing Huddersfield at home Huddersfield was still very defensive still managed to make things happen and they managed to pick up a point a po point that was crucial to them for them staying up and they were excellent they were well organized they were very defensive and they made 
were very frustrating for Manchester City, uh, and I'm expecting something similar again uh, in in this game. If you remember rightly, in the game at uh, the John Smith Stadium, I nearly called it the Galpon, but the John Smith Stadium, when we faced them in the Premier League last season, again they were frustrating, and Manchester City had to leave it late to win the game. And then you think back to the season before when they was in the Championship again, uh, near enough the same side under David Wagner, and still. Again, they were defensive and they nearly made things happen in the FA Cup. They ended up taking us back to a replay at the Etihad. Huddersfield, a very well organised, very solid, very defensive side, particularly in this game. This is going to be very frustrating. I imagine this is going to be low scoring. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to go for 1 0. My tip, first tip, uh, if you have it on both teams to score, I think you're playing a dangerous game. I probably won't have this on both teams to score. I would be very surprised to see Huddersfield come forward and try and take the game to Manchester City. They must have watched the DVDs last week of what Arsenal did when they tried to take the game to Manchester City. And although they had chances to score, you're running the risk of playing a higher line, running the risk of Man City getting in and around them. Uh, Huddersfield, uh, they don't have the players of Arsenal, so they've got to stick to their game plan. And Man City still managed to cruise past Arsenal, even away from home. They're not going to want to do that. They're going to sit back. I'd be very surprised to see both teams score. I could be wrong, but that's my tip. I won't go for both teams to score in this game. Another tip for you, just before we crack on with what I'm talking about with Huddersfield. My opinion, just my opinion this one, but I'd probably wait until the team's been announced. In play is a very good market for you to want to put a bet on. Wait till Man City is announced as side. Maybe have a look at what you think is going to happen then. Uh, certainly if you're going to go for a first goal scorer or any player to score during the game, you don't want to be putting money on Aguero to score first and then find out Jesus is starting, for example. We're not going to know that until the teams are announced about an hour before the game. So wait till then, then put your bets on and see where you stand. That's another top tip. So we're going to crack on with what Huddersfield are going to do. So like I said, fans wanting to park the bus, I'm anticipating they're going to be very defensive. A player like Aaron Moy, we already know what Aaron Moy can do. He's a former Manchester City player. We saw him blister part the championship. He did very well in the Premier League last season. He's a player that can create a lot of space for players and he can certainly take in Huddersfield forward can make things happen and create the space for Man City need to be nip and tuck, they need to be nice and tight in this game, they need to be very careful, Pep doesn't take anything for granted so I'm not too concerned about that, uh, particularly though if Mendy plays, Mendy needs to make sure that they're not allowing Huddersfield to create some space out wide, they've got some pace in their side, I'm not sure if Van La Parra will be playing but I know he can cause a lot of problems particularly if he's playing on either wings and their wingers, uh, wing backs want to come forward, there's going to be space in and around, they need to be careful to cut that out, just the basics of football, you know what it's like, uh, I imagine it's probably going to be 90 minutes of Manchester City knocking, I'm hoping we can break them down, if we can break them down nice and early it should open up the game. Um, but still, even if we go 1-0 ahead, I wouldn't be surprised to see them still being defensive, waiting for their opportunity, waiting for set pieces, waiting for Man City to make an error, waiting for Man City just to, you know, come forward, make that mistake, then capitalise. That's what they'll be looking for. They need to be clinical in this game, so do Manchester City. What we don't want is like 75% uh, possession, 20 shots, and then like three on target, no gold, and we come back with a 0-0 or like a 1-0 loss. That'd be devastating, wouldn't it, this early in the season? But... No De Bruyne, we've got some fixtures coming up, particularly the ones if you go and check out the games that he's going to be missing. If he's going to be out for a couple of months, he's going to be missing games, which you'd think on paper for Manchester City they should be picking up quite a few points from. Without De Bruyne there, it makes things that little bit more difficult as well. And also, we've got international breaks, we've got other injuries, Champions League games, League Cup games to take into account. <laughs> Already, the season's getting, getting very warm, things uh, getting very interesting, in my opinion. So, there we go, that's been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave in the comments below your score prediction and your team prediction. Don't forget to check out the links that I said before in the description below. You've got to go and check out 888 Sport. Click on the link, you'll be able to take you through to the bet, uh, into the app, sorry, and you'll be able to check out all of the bets. You'll be able to check out the bet £10, you get £30 in free bets, which is a very good deal, in my opinion. So, links to them in the description below, uh, along with the uh, Instagram links that and check out them to go and uh, join in with the competitions to uh, to win more money basically there we go so thank you to 888 sport for putting a sponsor on this video anyone wants to do any more sponsors then emails in the description below if you want to go and uh, hit me up with any emails social media links are in the description below also got the links to my second channel and my brother's partner channel mixed do mixology drinks so go check them out like and subscribe over there leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you all for the analysis in a couple of days enjoy your friday Enjoy your weekend blues and Huddersfield fans and I'll see you all on Sunday for the review video. Peace. Ciao for now.